I rise to you to ask to bring some sanity and common sense into this system. Uh, we, we, we decided we're going to go through A, A through F for what reason? Was there a problem with what we had before? We knew based upon what it was before, whether they were good schools or bad schools. We in our local communities know whether they're good schools or bad schools. We don't need A through F. We don't need to put that pressure on our campuses, on our school districts. Say, why don't we need to do pressure? Are they not doing a good enough job? Well, maybe not in your district, but in my districts, they're trying to do better with, with less money. We cut them $5.8 billion a few years ago. We haven't restored them. It's time to have sanity and rationality and take out this testing, testing, testing. And that's what this is doing. We're gonna, do you think just because you rank somebody A through F, they're going to do a better job? No. We need Mr. to support Speaker. our schools, we need to support our teachers, we need to support our students. We don't need to say that I've got an F school in my school district. They're not F, they're doing the best they can. Our teachers are working hard. And I rise to you to say, let's go back to the way it was. Let's don't have the A through F. Insanity in our school districts. Support public schools. And Mr. I would Speaker. ask, if it all due respect, Mr. please Mr. support Mr. this. Move passage. Ms. Gonzalez, for what purpose? Mr. Speaker. Will the gentleman yield? Mr. Phillips, do you yield? Yes, I would. Gentleman yields. Chairman Phillips, I have the exact same amendment, and you are completely correct. Aren't our schools filled with complex students and a lot of diversity? Yes, ma'am, that's exactly right. And just because I've got some school districts that have some folks that are a little bit harder to teach because of different barriers, we're working towards that. We're going to invest in them. And I don't think my, grade should be, my school should be graded less than the other ones. And so by labeling these schools with such simplistic ways, we could potentially create false imp impressions and understandings of our teachers, of our students, of our superintendents, of our school boards. I mean, it's so many false understandings of what's the reality that's happening in our local communities, correct? That's exactly right. All right. Thank you, Larry. I Thank appreciate you. you. Please stand up for sanity in schools.